Hello and welcome to our annual Glasses Awards. In this video I'm going to be showcasing some of the most beautiful, some of the best frames designed and released in the last 12 months. I'm going to be showcasing an array of different styles from different designers and explaining why I think they represent some of the best frames that you can get. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And over the last 12 months, we've had more clients than ever before. We've seen clients from further afield than ever before. And we've shipped internationally to more countries than ever before. So the first thing I wanna say is a huge thank you. Really, it does mean a lot. Huge thank you to all the customers who've supported us on our journey over the last 12 months. Even if you just subscribe to the channel and watch these videos regularly, I really appreciate your support. I couldn't do it without you, in fact, I do it all for you. I love my customers, I hope it shows, and I'm very, very grateful for the relationship that we have. So, without further ado, let's look at some glasses. So for the first category, we're going to be looking at the best value frames. And my best value frames for 2021 are the new bioacetate frames from Eco Eyewear. Now this is actually the first time on this channel that we'll be featuring the bioacetate frames. I've just had so much to talk about in recent months that we've not managed to feature them yet, but I will be doing a full exploration of this collection on the channel soon. Anyway, Eco Eyewear are a long-term favorite of mine. They make their frames in much more sustainable ways, whether that's by using recycled materials, bio-based materials, or even ocean recovered plastics. They're always looking for new ways to improve the sustainability of eyewear. And this year they brought out the new Bioacetate collection. Now acetate is the premium, the most premium plastic used in the manufacturing of glasses. So you'll see some of the most expensive, most valuable glasses made from this kind of material. But Eco have found a way to manufacture acetate frames in a much more environmentally friendly way. Hence the term bioacetate. I would challenge any optician to pick a pair of bioacetate frames up in their hands and tell me that they don't feel every bit as premium as glasses twice the price. See, these retail for less than 200 pounds which doesn't necessarily make them cheap, but compared to handmade frames, which can cost two or even three times that, these represent amazing value for money. Because honestly, the quality difference is not that significant. It is there, and yes, these are not clearly not handmade frames, but they feel extremely good to wear. They feel good in the hands as well as on the face. They have very robust hinges. They've created this new barrel joint, which I can tell is very, very good quality, but also a really premium look and overall they're just very cool styles. There is quite a large collection of these bioacetate frames, but I particularly like this one, which is called the Slate. I like the shape, which is this slightly rounded square. It's very versatile and easy to wear, but still stylish and on trend. And I particularly like the color. I'm always talking about crystal frames, and this is kind of a smoky crystal, which I think is the best take on a crystal aesthetic. So yes, my best value frames of 2021 go to the Eco Eyewear Slate from the Bioacetate collection. What about at the other end of the spectrum? What about if money is no object and you simply want the best luxury glasses, the best quality glasses where money doesn't even factor into the equation? Well, to me, there was a really clear winner this year. So my best luxury frames of 2021 are the Cartier Buffalo Horn Rimless. Now these are the classic Cedar Cartier frames. That means they feature the C of the Cartier house on either temple. And there is a regular version of this frame which just has plastic at the end, although the detail here will still be gold or platinum. With the Buffalo Horn frames, we still have the gold hardware, but now we have real genuine Buffalo Horn temples. It doesn't get much more luxurious than that. The horn is polished to such a degree that it's actually an event just putting the glasses on. As you slide them on or off the face, they feel really sleek and really smooth. And the texture of the horn also gives the glasses grip, so they don't need to be hooked behind the ear to still give good stability. These would not move a millimeter, even if I shook my head. So they have a really stable, solid feel when you wear them, but extremely comfortable and sleek at the same time. And the best thing about natural materials like Buffalo Horn is the fact that you'll never get two the same. Every single pair of Buffalo Horn frames you could look at or buy will be unique and different to any other frame. So you are truly getting something that's very special, and one of a kind. Now, clearly these are more of a dressed up, more elegant look. And certainly if you wanted glasses for a special occasion, you could not beat these. But they're probably more wearable than you think. If you've got the confidence to pull it off, you could easily wear these as your everyday glasses. They're not too imposing because of the rimless design, 
very comfortable, like I mentioned, very robust and durable, and my pick for the best luxury frames of 2021. Now I do have to give a special mention because there was a very close runner up in this category to the Walter and Herbert limited edition frames. Now Walter and Herbert, you may not have heard of, they're an English based company who make their frames in England, one of the last brands to do so. And these limited edition frames are one of only a hundred pairs made of each model. This is the man's version and this is the lady's version. And what I was particularly impressed with on these frames was the quality of the finishing. The titanium, I've, I've actually never seen titanium finished and polished to this level of detail, to this level of quality, to this level of shine and gloss. It's beautiful work that they've done on these frames and I was very, very impressed with them. And they came a very close second to those Cedar Cartier rimless buffalo horn frames. So yeah, special mention to Walter and Herbert for their limited edition frames. Now our third category is gonna be all about the latest fashion frames released in the last 12 months. So my pick for best ladies fashion frames that I've seen in 2021 is the Fotini from LAI Works. I love everything about this style from the color combination to the chunkiness, the boldness of the style, to the quality of the finishing. Even the hinges are just top, top quality, but it's all about the look. They're so impactful and so decorative as a frame that they had to be the winner for this year's fashion frames. Particularly actually, not even in this color, but in the green color that they come in, the striped green acetate that LEI Works have produced. Unfortunately, we've sold out of that style, so I can't showcase it in this video but that frame was just so stunning and I was so proud of the customer who chose it. She's got a huge eyewear collection, but that's perhaps the jewel in the crown. Now the runner up in this category would be this oversized rose gold Chloe frame. The model number for this one is the 0023 and it's a beautiful oversized metallic square frame that I feel Chloe do better than any other brand in the world. When it comes to metal frames, if you're into fashion, I think Chloe is really the only brand that you should consider. And I love this style. If you were going for more of a minimalistic look, but still want something super on trend and fashionable, I would definitely go for these. Now the best men's fashion frame of 2021 was a really close call. It was probably the most difficult choice I had to make in this year's awards. In the end, it was almost a toss up between this Gucci frame from the gold decor collection, which features the gold inlays and the gold details but I just love the shape, the way that it tapers outwards, which is so subversive and unique and different and cool, you know, above all. And this Hugo Boss aviator style aluminium frame, which is a really angular shape, a bit more minimalistic. I really like the high brow bar in contrasting color. I love everything about both of these two styles. And to be honest, if it was my choice, if I was picking one of these frames, I'd probably go for the Hugo Boss. But I think overall, the most stylish frame, and that's at the end of the day what this category is about, is this Gucci Gold Deco style. The specific model number of this one is the 913. It's particularly cool in this smoke brown color. I don't really have more to say. It's just a really cool, really stylish frame, and that's what this category is about. But you also certainly couldn't go wrong with the 1135 from Hugo Boss. That's a really awesome style as well. Again, it comes down to your taste. This was the closest category for me to call, but I'm just leaning towards the Gucci one in this year's awards. And yeah, Hugo Boss did win in this category last year, so they can't be too greedy. We're getting close to the end now. And the next award that we're going to look at is the best sunglasses of 2021. Again, this was quite a challenging category to pick from. There's three styles here, which are all fantastic, all phenomenal in their own way. I'll start with the runners up. So the first runner up in this category was the Victor from Reykjavik Eyes. Now this is, to my knowledge, well, it is the world's first one piece frame with a one piece lens inside. And by combining the two, they've created a really futuristic, but still minimalistic look. Obviously the frames take up a large part of my face. These are designed to be oversized. These give me fantastic peripheral vision and coverage all around. So as functional sunglasses, they're definitely the best of the three in terms of the eye protection they give me, but also the durability of the frames and the comfort because they weigh almost nothing. I have a pair of these myself, which I can't say for the other two, and I do absolutely adore them, but they just didn't quite win. The second runner up, and this was probably a bit closer to actually winning the award, just down to sheer popularity, is the 007 Joe sunglasses. These have been over the last 12 months, 
by far and away our most populous and last style. We've had customers from Italy, France, London, Holland, and America and Canada order this style. Literally, we've shipped it all over the world and this is our last pair that we've, we've got left. I've said that before because we keep getting new stock in, but as soon as we get new stock in, it just sells out again. And it's easy to see why, because not only is it a really cool frame in its own right, but of course it was worn by Daniel Craig in No Time To Die, which was a super popular film this year. And I think a lot of people loved Craig's performance in that. Certainly after the movie was released, we noticed a big uptake in sales of this style. It also features glass lenses, which are extremely durable and scratch resistant, as well as an anti-reflective treatment on the back surface. So as I say, they're very good quality sunglasses, even excluding the James Bond thing. But then to add that in and all the packaging, the beautiful limited edition packaging that you get with them, it really seals the deal. Anyway, they didn't win because my winner of the best sunglasses of 2021 goes to the Cartier Cedar Cartier faceted frames. They're just that bit extra. Whilst the Joe is a very classic style, the Victor is a very futuristic style. These are just class. They are beautiful in every sense of the word, from the platinum metalwork, with the cool claw-like Cedar Cartier uh, emblem that comes around the front of the frames, to the interesting lens shape with facets at top and bottom. Everything about these sunglasses screams quality, screams uniqueness and individualism. And although they are by far the most expensive sunglasses uh, out of the three, they're clearly the best both for men and ladies. If you want sunglasses to really make a statement, really make an impact, to, to look phenomenal and get compliments, these are the ones. And I don't think there's much more I can say about them. So my award for the best sunglasses of 2021 goes to the Cedar Cartier rimless faceted sunglasses. So the final award that we're going to be giving is for the best frame concept. A new way of designing frames that is that little bit different a, a bit unique and above all, cool. These new styles from JF Ray are the winners of this year's New Frame Concepts Award. These are called the Color Box Frames for two reasons. First of all, they have a little box, a little hollow box in each corner, each side. And they also have this box of color halfway down each arm and then at the end tip. It's just a really interesting design, really. That's what JF Ray do. They create frames that have never been done before just for the sake of art for the sake of doing something novel and doing something different. And that's why I love JF Ray, they're my personal favorite eyewear brand because they're out of the box, they think out of the box and they design frames that are definitely out of the box. So there are three styles from within the color box collection. This one being probably my favorite, which is more of an aviator kind of frame, a rounded aviator. You also have a slightly more conventional shape. This one's more rectangular, quite oversized and quite good for guys with slightly larger heads. And then there's also a ladies version, which I love the color combination on this frame with the kind of marbled gold effect and then the red end tips and red accents halfway down the temple. That's a beautiful style and a really nice finishing touch is the logo plaque, which is actually drilled and screwed into the inside of the arm. That just shows how proud John francois Ray was of this particular creation of his. So I think that's it. I think that is the Glasses Awards of 2021. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed the channel over the last 12 months. A huge amount of work does go into producing these videos, but it's honestly all worthwhile for the lovely feedback that I get from you and just from the engagement we have with our customers and our viewers. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the last 12 months. But going into 2022, let's look to grow even further. If you can, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff really helps us grow and even hit the bell icon so that you get notifications when a new video of ours is released. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video in 2022. Thanks guys, bye bye.